Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this design right here, the style of design. This is a pretty simple kind of splatter cutout design. I did it with a shark, but again, you can do this with anything that you like. So if you want to learn how you guys can do this, go ahead and stick around. So I'm here on Canvas homepage and we are going to be making a t-shirt design today. I decided that since the, um, the third quarter is coming up and we are starting to talk about uh, July niches that I was just going to go ahead and make uh, a shark design for shark week. And I did want to show you guys how you could do some sort of uh, sort of splatter outline style design. So just a little bit more artsy stuff. So I'm going to go over to the right hand side where it says custom size. I'll click that and we're going to go ahead and select a 4500 by 5400 pixels. That is the standard t-shirt size. It will ensure that when you print, it does print at above 300 DPI. I do prefer to optimize my designs for the darker colors. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just select kind of a dark gray for right now. And we're going to go over to the left hand side where it says elements. And the first thing we're going to do is just search for a shark. Now for this design, what we're looking for is more of that silhouette style. Um, and for it to work well, you actually want to pick one that's kind of already a silhouette. So something like that would work just fine. You can select see all. There's lots of different shark silhouettes that you can do. Um, there's dolphins, there's crabs. I mean, it would kind of work for just about anything. I'm just picking a shark here. You do want it to be relatively simple. So this shark is a nice simple outline piece of cake, but there's lots of other sharks that would work, lots of other sharp shapes. So, you know, pick one you like and go with it. I think we're going to go ahead and just go with this one for now because it's pretty simple. I like it. It's easy to do. So let's just stick here. So I've got my black shark and he should be just solid, regular black. So yes, he's a black shark. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do sort of some splatter outlining around him. And I'm thinking at this point, it doesn't matter which way he's oriented because I'm just trying to get the outline first. So I'm going to orient him up and down so that I can make him a little bigger. That's going to make it a little easier for me. And then I'm going to go to the left-hand side. I'm going to search for splatter. Again, it doesn't matter. Get to a splatter. Pick any splatter you want. Ideally, something that's going to let you change the color because what we really want is going to be something that we can just go ahead and make a white splatter. So here's a splatter. I'm going to go ahead and make it white. And then we're going to shrink it down and we're just going to start kind of going around the edges. So it's going to look something, something like this. And then I can hit Control and D, duplicate it, and just start making it go around the edges. And every so often I'll rotate it so that it kind of angles differently. And I can always switch out some of the splatters too so that I end up with some slightly different border edges so that they're not completely uniform. You don't want it to look too uniform, but just sort of, you know, you can twist it around a little bit and you can use some other splatters as well. I'm just looking for just a little simple, it's almost gonna be like a little glow outline around him. Um, and so essentially you're looking to cover all of the edges. So once you've kind of roughly gone around all of the edges and gotten all of the edges covered up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move the shark to the front. So you can kind of hover over your design and you'll get one big box. That's going to be the shark. So the easiest way to bring him all the way to the front is just going to be to click on that and then go up to the top where it says position. And from there, we're going to go ahead and go over to you're on a range and you're just going to go to front and that's going to bring the shark all the way to the front. And from there, you're going to be able to see sort of that outline that you created around the shark. Now, if there's any areas that you think are too thin compared to others, now would be a good time. You can add a few more of those splatters there. So I can go ahead and take my white splatter again, kind of shrink it down and anywhere where you feel like I didn't quite get a good border around it, maybe the tip of the fin here, I can do that. I can hit control D. Maybe I missed a little bit here around the body and anything that you think needs just a little bit more oomph, right? We can go ahead and just add a little bit more of a border around specific areas now so that if we missed anything, we'll kind of get it in there. 
And then again, I can go to position one more time, bring my shark to the front. Now it looks like I've got a good kind of splatter around my shark. At this point, I can take my background color and I'm going to make it black. So now what we should have, right, is the shark is black and the background is black. And they should be the exact same shade of black, ideally. So um, right now I've got it as black and white. They could be any color, so I can do black if I wanted to. I could do the background, you know, like neon green or regular green, as long as I make the shark also that same color green. So any way you want, you just want the background and the shark to match so that the only thing that looks different is the splatter. So that is what we're really shooting for there. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to title it shark. And we're going to download this. And we will download it as is, nothing special about it. And so now what we're hoping for is that we can get rid of all of the green by doing a background remover. Now, sometimes this works great and sometimes it doesn't. And there is a little bit of troubleshooting that you can do if it doesn't work. But let's go ahead, cross our fingers. Let's go to uploads. Let's upload what we just made. And I'm going to pull up another page. I'm going to make that other page a different color. I'm going to pull up my green shark here. And we're going to go ahead and try a background remover, cross our fingers and see if it worked. All right. And it looks like it worked perfectly this time. So I really like the way that that turned out. It turned out just fine. And I might go ahead and flip it this way, not horizontal, vertical. There we go. So now I got the shark. He's kind of going the other direction. I can have him kind of swimming up a little bit. And so here's my cool shark. And so something like that looks pretty cool. Now I could also, by the way, put some splatters around the shark. So now that I know that that worked pretty well and it looked good, if I wanted to add some different color splatters around him beyond just white, I could do that here. So now let's go back up to elements and let's go ahead and we're going to go with blue splatter. A little search for blue splatter here. I'll go to graphics. And there's all sorts of cool blue splatters and we can do any of them. I like this one. It's got some different shades in it or this one. Both of those look really pretty cool. And so I could kind of use a couple of these here because they're slightly different stuff. And just put a little bit of splatter maybe on either side of the shark, Oops, so something like that. So he looks like he's kind of going through the splatter. And then let's go ahead and send the splatter to the back so I can hit uh, control on my left bracket to try to take that splatter to the black. Now I'd have to do it several times or I can again just hit the splatter, go to position, or let's go ahead and go two back. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and go two back. It's gonna be easier because I got lots of different things. So again, now I've got my different splatters there behind the shark. And so that looks pretty cool. So now the shark is kind of almost going through some of that and I can sort of move those over to sort of see where, you know, where it might look cool. And so something like that looks pretty awesome because I am using some different colors here. I do really want to make sure that, um, that the uh, the color I use for my background color is completely different than the colors I'm using. So in this case, I might actually want to go with maybe maybe a bright red for both the shark and the backgrounds because that's really going to contrast the blue and the white. So I don't want there to be any confusion on what's in the background. So something like that looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, and again, you can do anything you want in terms of splatters. I can do some different splatters. Um, you do want it to be solid. So what I don't want would be anything that's got any transparency in it. But, you know, any other other splatters that you want to try adding in here. And again, you can send to back. It's going to look pretty cool. So that looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do it again. Let's share. Let's go download. We're going to leave it exactly as is. We're just going to do page one and we will download that. And we'll try the background remover again. 
Then we'll go over to uploads. We're going to upload the shark that we just did. So that's going to be the one with the red. We'll open. Let's add another page. There's my red shark. And let's see if I can do a background remover and get rid of the red. Turned out pretty good. There's a little bit of red here, but you know, people could look at that and just think that that's part of the design. So that's really nothing too worrisome to have a little red splatter. I could even add a little bit more red splatter. That looks pretty cool. And again, I can flip this, oops, that way. Throw my shark straight across, maybe even angle him up just a smidge. And have something like that. And then let's say I have a black shirt here. And it would look like that on my black shirt. So just a nice simple splatter style design. Cool for kids or adults. I mean, you can do it any kind you want. If you really didn't like that red and you wanted to get rid of it, I could go to background remover, bring my brush size down really small, and just try to get rid of some of that little bits of red. Again, doesn't matter. I could do something like that. And that's going to get rid of most of that red there. And so now I don't even really see the red. And so that's pretty easy. But if you don't mind the red, you can have little red splatters in there too. So it's not a huge deal. Um, and so that's pretty easy. I mean, there's lots of different things that you could do with this too. Now, if you wanted to, if I wanted to make it almost a little bit of a dive style design, I could put a dive flag like behind the shark. There's all sorts of things I could do. Um, Let's see if I wanted to, just to show you guys, let's say I wanted to make the shark sort of a weird watercolory style thing behind him. I mean, I could take that water color, something like that, and I could move it kind of to the back. And so now you can see the watercolor sort of inside of the shark. Not that I like that. If I wanted to do that, I could have just put a clipping mask on the shark. And that's one way you could do it too. If you just wanted to have that, I kind of wanted the cutout. So that's why... I did it that way, but lots of different things that you can do with this. And so that's just how you can get sort of that outline style design that's going to be a cutout with a little splatter. So easy, creative, just one more style of thing, um, things that you can use in your designs. Again, I showed you this with a shark. You can use this kind of tool to do any designs or any styles you want. I just kind of wanted to show you that splatter outline and how you could use it. And again, because you guys were patient and did wait until the end of the video, I do have five more bonus niches for you. And they are shark themed bonus niches. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and download this real quick though. Download. We just want a PNG. This one is a transparent background. We only want page three. We can hit done and download. And now it would be ready to put on whatever it is you want to put it on. Um, and so that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give you guys your bonus niches. So without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches. These are Shark Week themed. Niche number one, jaw ready for this, right? Number two, emotional support animal with a shark. Number three, sharks have feelings too. Number four, nailed it with a hammerhead shark. And number five, let's get hammered also with a hammerhead shark. And so just some funny shark style designs that you guys can be working on. And again, your shark designs don't necessarily need any text. They can be design only or they can be text only, whatever you like. I hope you guys are doing good. Again, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.